Alright, and here we go. Hello everyone, this is the Vampire here, and I'm making a short tutorial on how to stream and record games using uh, Dixtree and uh, Open Broadcaster, OBS for short. So, first and foremost, we need to open up Dixtree. Okay, and first of all, you need to set a folder where you want to save your recording then we're gonna go to the video tab first select your FPS right here select both file output and direct show output this will also record the file and stream it to an external application as you will see shortly okay so leave this AVI now the codec if it's the easiest for you just use the standard disk tree video codec select U, uh, UV, YUV24 if you have enough power. Also, I recommend using compression just to lower the file size a little bit. Or you can use uh, uh, YUV420. Yeah, 420 joke, I know. <laughs> it had medium quality in any case. What I like to use when I record and also stream, and especially if it's a video like max a maximum of 1080p at 30 fps uh, anything over that this won't work so you can either use uh, x.264 uh, if you uh, have enough cpu power using ultra fast auto auto convert to yuv 420 looseless these settings basically here and uh, it will create a much smaller file size on your computer while still uh, keeping the same quality basically as any other codec but again this at the cost of um, of your CPU workload basically using some more CPU to convert the video to encode it what I like to use is if you have a codec pack like the uh, KLI codec pack it will install a bunch of video for Windows codecs, meaning these ones right here. And I like to use the FFD Show video codec. And at settings, select uncompressed and generic YV12. Uh, 12. And this basically gives me uh, the lowest uh, CPU utilization, which I need because my CPU is getting kind of old. But again, if you have a new CPU with a lot of cores or a lot of threads, there are other options but this is pretty good and again 1080p 30 fps max anything over the program just can't keep up for whatever reason I don't know why whatever okay after this you're going to select your sound settings right here select PCM at um, 48 kilohertz at 24 bit stereo which uh, is the best quality basically anything over is just overkill and if you um, also want to include your microphone recording as part of the video file on your computer you can also add the second tab right here and select your microphone as the record device using basically the same settings one thing to note is that in the video itself the audio from the game and the audio from the microphone won't overlap the, uh, they will basically be two separate audio streams that you will need to edit later and combine them together if you want both uh, audio and mic in the same audio stream basically but that's up to you okay and then you'll need to um, mess around with a few settings here if you have some issues for more details I recommend you look at my perfect Dix3 video settings uh, Fred on SDA okay then the second thing that we need to do is to go right here to the video settings for video output select our resolution if it's not in this list uh, you can uh, add it in manually and this will be the resolution that Dixtree pus pushes sorry to the program that you're using to stream basically what I recommend to get the most utilization is set your dex uh, desktop resolution to whatever resolution the game you're running is so again less um, CPU and GPU utilization also set the game at the resolution you want and also set the dictionary video settings for the output at the same resolution as the game is to ensure the maximum uh, quality then select the video FPS that you want to stream at 
let's say for instance uh, this is another cool thing if you want to record at 60 fps but only want to stream at 30 let's say your internet connection can't allow you to stream like 720p at 60 uh, fps then you can select 30 to output to the program which is much better because also then uh, obs doesn't have to do all the work of um, of only rendering uh, half of the frames that can be done by dictionary automatically so again less cpu utilization and etc etc basically okay so we set this to 30 also you don't need to set the resolution inside dictionary because you just set the scaling to percent and 100 percent so that means it will capture all of the screen if you don't want it to capture all of the uh, all of the screen screen sorry you can uh, also specify a specific size right here and also if your game has black bars on the top for whatever reason then you can also set clipping and at the uh can't remember horizontal alignment yes the horizontal and vertical where you want it to start basically you will want to select this at uh, center for horizontal and the clip size was it something like that yes 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 center and center and then select how many pixels you want to uh, remove and it will remove both from the f uh, left and the right I'm not going to go into margins but basically you should not mess with these settings you can do this afterwards in a video editing program like I don't know Sony Vegas uh, After Effects even you has um, has uh, clipping options in any case let's continue so those are the basic settings that you need to focus on and then if we go to OBS second come on OBS start okay then in OBS you need to add a video capture device and then from here select dictionary video one dictionary video one feed because here we set it, selected the first output to be like this also another thing let's say for instance you uh, you have a very powerful CPU and you don't have any quality options on Twitch for whatever reason, but you still want to stream in two quality options, let's say a high quality and a low quality. What you can also do is open another instance of, uh, of OBS and uh, let's say I have the first output at uh, 1080p at 30 FPS, but I can make like output to another output at, I don't know, 640 by 480, let's say at 30 FPS. And then in this in the second dictionary I can select dictionary video 2 and that will um, will live stream at the selected resolution so you can basically have your own quality options it will mean you need to have a separate stream but that's another feature that you can have you don't need to use it but if you ever want to use it it's basically there okay uh, select the uh, leave the settings in here as standard as you see them and that's basically it just set up your OBS screen capture then start recording a game and then you will have both the video recording in the folder that you selected in the highest quality possible and also uh, you will have your video app put to the um, to Twitch or whatever other live streaming website you're using via OBS so yeah that's basically it then those are all the settings that you need to worry about again if you have any more questions just post them in the in the uh, thread at in the description of this video and i'll answer any questions you have basically so this is the vampire signing off